it takes courage to be kids today, to stand up for who we are, what we believe in, and where we want to go in our lives. It takes courage to stand on this stage. Believe me, courage doesn't mean that I'm not scared. It just means that I'm brave enough to stand here through my fears. Courage isn't something that is given to us. We can't learn it in a book or buy it from Amazon. It's not delivered overnight. It's inside of us. And for most of us, it takes time and practice to build it. Edward Cummings once said, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. Now, there is big courage, then there's everyday courage. Big courage is standing up for what you believe in, no matter the consequences. It's having the strength and the determination to face difficult situations and making tough decisions. Now, these brave acts have a life-changing impact that can sometimes even impact generations. I come from a long line of big courage. April 24th, 1915, during World War I, the Ottoman Empire tried to destroy all Armenians who lived on their territory. My great-great-grandfather saw his parents being beheaded in front of his own eyes. He gathered up all his courage and ran away with his two youngest siblings, ages five and two, to escape death. They traveled for weeks on foot, even though they were hungry, thirsty, and exhausted. They kept running for their lives. Miraculously, they ended up at the border of the Republic of Georgia and was rescued by American missionaries. He was only nine, and I am a proud descendant of Armenian genocide survivors. If it weren't for his extraordinary courage, I would not be standing here today. Then there is my mom, who is my hero and has big courage. When she was living in the Soviet Union and a war broke out, her mom, my grandma, Babula, had to stay in the house hiding because she was from Ukraine and they wanted to deport her and everyone else who wasn't born in Georgia. Even though my mom was hungry, scared, and without electricity or even a light to read, she kept pursuing her education. She kept dreaming big for the better, brighter tomorrow. She did not allow devastation to defeat her. She fought each day on an empty stomach. She was only 12, the same age I am today. And only because my mom did not give up on life, I am standing here today. Then there is Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani activist for female education and the youngest person to win a Nobel Peace Prize. At 15, she gathered up incredible courage and stood up for the rights for every girl to have education. Because she spoke up, a Taliban gunman boarded her school bus and shot her in the head. After she recovered, she said, they thought that they would change my aims and stop my ambitions, but nothing in my life changed except this. Weakness, fear, and hopelessness died. Strength, power, and courage was born. Malala's courage is an inspiration to all of us. Then there's everyday courage, just like my mom and my great-great-grandfather. They believe they can, despite age, despite circumstances. They had not let their past hold them back from going after their future. They believed that tomorrow would be better than today. They just never stopped dreaming. Deep inside, they knew that they could make a difference as they simply stepped over their fears. 
What about me? What about my courage? I'd stood on a few stages, even when some people weren't supportive or discouraged me. Yeah, it hurt, and it took a lot of courage to go where I am right now. Luckily, I had my mom, who was there helping me to follow my dreams, or as you'd call it, encouraging me. And I am taking a big step of courage by standing on here and saying that I believe that there is more possible for kids today. If I can do it, and if they can do it, so can you. No matter what age you are, we do not need to compare our courage with others' courage and our stories with theirs. We can build our own unique, courageous stories that can make a difference in the world today. I believe in what Walt Disney once said, all our dreams could come true if we have the courage to pursue them. What's amazing is that the word courage is inside of the word encourage. That means when you encourage us, you help us find our courage. That means what I'm asking parents, teachers, and anyone else who is around young people, remember to tell us, you are enough. I believe in you. You can do it, and you are enough. Cheer us on. Your words matter to us. We hear what you say and when you encourage us. Now, let's take this step from a hard decision to a heart decision because our world needs courageous people. Thank you.